this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. It stands up. So let's get started here. This uses quite a lot of supplies. Okay, I'm going to start over here. I have Memento Tuxedo Black, I have Balmy Blue, I have Pear Pizzazz, and then I have two Stampin' Right markers, the regular water-based markers. I have an Early Espresso and a Mossy Meadow. I'm using Flowering Tulips. This one I'm just using for the sentiment. I'm using the Tulip Fields. I'm using the Tree and the clouds. I'm using uh, quite a few of these dyes from Windmill Fields. I'm also using the Stitch So Sweetly die. This is the largest of the rectangles. Okay, and the layering circles. And this one is the third from the smallest. So whichever one is the right size to cut out the sentiment and then the scallop one that's one above it. Okay, so I've cut from real red the uh, layer for the uh, windmill. Stitch so sweetly scallop. Um, this little tulip strip and this scalloped circle. From black I've cut the detail layer from the windmill and from um, maybe it's pool party I can't remember I think it's pool party oh, let me get it out and look yeah no, no maybe it is balmy had this cut out and ready to go. Yeah, it is pool party. Okay. So, from pool party I've cut out the um, windmill part, this piece. I've cut out the fences that are really tiny and detailed. And then I've got some of these other pieces that I'm going to need to cut out after I stamp them. This is a, a lot of pieces card. I've got a couple scraps of white. This is the piece of the red that I used to cut everything out. It's a, qu a quarter sheet. This is the piece of the pool party that I used to cut out all the pieces. It's like an eighth of a sheet. Um, this one goes there. This one is uh, 3 and 7 eighths by 2 and 5 eighths. This is the scrap. I have 3 quarter by 4 inch piece of designer series paper and this is the um, Flowering Fields DSP. There's five pieces that are three quarter by four inches one that is one by four inches okay and then I have another piece of that same DSP which is three and a half by five and a half this is three and three quarters by eleven and this is four and a quarter by eleven okay so the first thing I'm going to do um, let's do our stamping first and then we'll do the scoring okay so I'm going to bring in my scrap of white and there should be a scrap of 
the pool party. Okay, let's do the sentiment first. I've got ink all over me. I didn't even realize. Let's ink this up. We'll go ahead and stamp this. It's going to be cut out with a circle die. If you have rather use a punch, you can do that as well. Okay, that's all we're going to use for the black ink, so let's put it away. Okay, now clouds are going to get stamped in the balmy blue. I've mounted them both on one block just to make it just a tiny bit easier. Awesome. Okay, I'm done with the balmy blue ink. That can get put away. And now we're going to bring in pear pizzazz in this tree image. I'm going to ink it up with pear pizzazz. Going to come in with the uh, Early Espresso Stamp and Write marker, and I'm going to use the the edge of it. I'm not going to use the actual tip. I'm going to color in this uh, stem of the brand of uh, the tree, the trunk. I don't know why I couldn't think of that wasn't coming to me. There's a couple little pieces in there that you could see our trunk with the um, early espresso. And I'm going to take the mossy meadow and I'm going to hold it loosely in my hand. I'm going to do what they call a thumping technique. And I'm just going to bounce the tip of this, the side of the tip of it, onto my tree to get a couple areas that are darker. You need to, when you're done, bring in a scratch paper. Make sure it's not got any other color on it. Since we're using a darker color on a lighter color, I don't think it matters. And I'm going to breathe on it. And I'm going to stamp. You'll see the different colors in there. It's an easy way to get the multiple colors. A little bit random looking. Hi, little bit. You're making an entrance. Go on. Go play. Thank you. Okay, so these will need cut out. We'll need this piece here. And these two pieces here. And let's bring in the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and go ahead and get that done. machine. Open it up. I'm going to need plate one, plate two, let's line these up. Another plate two. Whoops, it slid. I don't know why. It's such a hard time doing that. Some people can just run it through. Not going to be perfect, but they're clouds, so. Okay. Oh, the tree moved though, so let me just turn those through. And then I'll come back. I'm going to use my tape.
because it's going to bother me. So there's my clouds. It's not hard to do. I just like it to stay lined up. me when it doesn't. So let's move this forward. Let's bring this one in. Put the plate on. all the die cutting. Okay, let's put all these little pieces aside so they don't get lost. Got a little magnetic bowl here to the side so I'm going to put them in there. these pieces and we're going to bring in the my scoring tool simply scored tool and I'm going to bring in the three and three quarter by 11 inch piece first and I'm going to put it in so that the 11 inch pieces on the top so the scores are perpendicular to that and I'm going to score that at five and a half inches. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put it so that the edge is against the top and the bottom is against the bottom. Fold this over. I'm going to line up that other side so that it's the same. And then I'm going to bring in my That's the piece that's going to make the tent part. Okay. Now the four and a quarter by eleven inch piece. Again, we're going to put it in so that the eleven inch side is on the top. If you're using your other tool, your you know, your regular trimmer, it, you'll do it the same way. I'm going to score it at one inch. Two inch, three inch, four inch, five and a half, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Now the center one is going to be the mountain, and this is um, the thinner, the regular weight cardstock because it was a little bit stiff with the thick. And we're going to accordion fold, so I'm going to do the, the two at the same time because see how those are wonky? You want to make sure they're lined up. Should be lined up now, but they're not. Just make sure that at least the edges side to side are lined up. And just keep going till we get that all folded up. Last 
too. Alright, now we're going to open it back up. We're going to bring in those little pieces of designer series paper. We're going to figure out which side is your front. Which side do we want to be the front of our card? And then since this side is more square and that sits flat on the table, that's what I'm going to do in my front. Okay, so you open it this way. This piece here is going to get the one and a quarter or one by four inch piece of the designer series paper. The back side's not going to get one, so that's going to go right there. I'm going to use my wet glue. Well, maybe not because I haven't used it in a couple days. There we go. And it's going to have quite a little bit of a border. You could make it a little bit wider if you want. I don't think I measured that right, but I'm going to just push it towards the top. Okay, then the three quarter by four inch pieces are going to get on the fronts of each one of these. on the front of this. And this one gets one on the back of it as well. That one can be seen from the... Um, from the front of the card. And I just turned it around so that the lines in the paper would match up. Because it's next to each other. Okay, then the back, the front side of those two. So there's our card base. You might have to work it a few times to get it to stand right, but there's the base itself. Now, this piece is going to get the three and a half by five and a quarter inch piece of designer series paper on the front of it. You could use either side, it would look good both ways chose to do this one. I could have done the clouds on this one and then the tulip side on that one. That would be pretty too. Okay, put that down for a second. I'm going to bring in this piece, the three and a half by five and a quarter inch piece designer series paper and the scalloped uh, rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly, and we're going to hear those together. Okay, now let's bring in the pieces for the windmill. We need this piece here. We need this piece here. And we are going to just use a little bit of wet glue on the back. 
little dabs, don't need a lot. I'm just like using the glue that's on the tip. I'm just rubbing it, I'm not putting very much on at all. I'm going to line that up here. Okay, there's that piece. Um, let's bring in this scallop circle and the sentiment that we stamped. Put those together. Just a tiny little scalloped edge there. All right. And bring in this piece. I have, I have a little. Should I have one in here? Oh, it's not in there. So let's. Brad out. And I'm going to get a little piece of foam. And I'm going to bring in my Take your big tool. I'm going to put that piercing end in. And I just, there's a little locking symbol there. You're gonna, and there's little grooves. And then you'll see there's little grooves on your tool. So you're going to line up those grooves with the little grooves on the inside. And then you're going to turn it to lock it in. And I'm just going to poke a hole right, see that little hole right there? I'm just going to poke a hole in it. And I'm going to bring in my windmill and the brad. Now if you want it to uh, move, make sure it's not too tight. So make sure the brad is loose so that this will turn. Okay, and we're going to Put some dimensionals on the back of this. I'm going to use what's left of this backing. You want to make sure it doesn't interfere with the, uh, well actually it doesn't matter because that doesn't spin, but I was going to say you don't want to put it over that, but it, I don't think it would make any difference because that's not the part that spins, it's the windmill part that sits on top of it. Okay, backs off of this. All right, now we're going to bring in our tree. Our tree's going to go over here, down towards the bottom. Let's go ahead and glue that down there. So it's going to go behind the windmill. Windmill's gonna go on right here, down at the bottom. And I have this tulip piece that we cut out. We're gonna measure here. We want like one tulip hanging off here and one tulip hanging off on this side, so we're gonna bring in our snips. that off there. I'm going to glue that down here at the bottom. It's going to go there. OK, 
Okay, now the little fences are so tiny, so delicate. And the little one, we're going to glue those on after we get it, this piece on because they hang over the edge. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the clouds on too. So let's do the clouds. One's going to go up here. I should put them on before I put the windmill. It would have made it easier. But one's going to go up here. Alright, now this is going to get popped onto here, so we need some more dimensional. Finish up this piece. Put in some more. This is going to get centered on the front of this card. Okay, that could be a card all on its own. It's pretty just like that. Now we're going to put the glue on the fences. Very little bit. But Putting it on the cross pieces, the upright pieces. Okay, tuck it in under the, under here. I want it to go below the bottom of that tree. I should have put my tree up just a little bit higher, but, and then this piece, I need it to go in a little more. This piece is going to get stuck down to this piece here. It might take you got to hold it for just a second to get it to stay. Just kind of gives it a little bit of a dimension. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. in here. Okay, that's that part. Okay, so now we're going to bring the, the base part back in. This is going to get set in there like that. It's going to go a little bit from the bottom like that. So we just need a little glue here at the bottom. side in. And what I did was I wanted to make sure it was still within that five and a half inches so I need to push it down a little more because it's not. So let's put it all the way down to the crease. It's a little bit bigger but that'll work. So it's going to go all the way down to the fold. So we're going to do the same on this side. It's crooked. It's crooked. Just make sure it's centered. You fold it up, it should all fold flat. Okay. Now we're going to take our sentiment and it's going to go on this piece in the front here. So we just need to put glue on the bottom half of it. Okay. 
There you go, there's the front of our card. And there's how it is when it opens. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.